Well, it's been a roller coaster first day here at Lords in this second Empower Ashes Test match. Indeed, England have probably had the better of the day, 364 for six. A remarkable captain's innings from Andrew Strauss, 161 not out. He will be there in the morning as well with Stuart Broad. It all started so well for England, 194 first wicket partnership between him and Alistair Cook before Cook fell agonisingly on 95. Then the Australians found a bit more swing, a bit more control indeed, and fought back later in the day. There's certainly plenty more in this wicket than there was in Cardiff, and England, if they can push up towards 450, will certainly set themselves well on the way to victory in this first test. It's a special moment any time you get an, an Ashes 100, and when it's at the home of cricket, it's even more special, to be fair. Um, really enjoy the opening partnership with, with Cookie, and you know we've, we've managed to get some early um, ascendancy over the Aussies. Uh, but as is often the case, they, they came back well in that final session. So um, good day. Um, for England, uh, but you know, probably a better day for me personally. It's always a fast scoring ground, Lords, so if you're slightly off, um, you're going to go. And um, you know, Cookie and I were able to get some momentum going early on. Um, you know, it looked like Mitchell Johnson was just struggling with the slope a little bit early. Um, and when you get a situation like that, it's important you take advantage of it. And uh, yeah, I think we were able to do that. But what I would say is that there are more wicket taking opportunities here. Definitely, um, the ball swung around a little bit more, and when it swung, um, at times batting looked quite tricky. Um, at the same time, in between that, there, there are opportunities to score. So, you know, I, I think if we can get up to 450 odd tomorrow, then we're in a pretty good position in the game. Um, but we'd probably have to bowl better than we did at Cardiff. Yeah, well, I think in terms of um, setting an example, you know, in, for, for the batsmen to go big when they get in, it was important. Um, and also as a captain, I think. Yeah, you don't want to be scratching around and not scoring runs because it, it adds more pressure um, when you don't really need more pressure. So, uh, yeah, it, it feels pretty good tonight to have got those big runs. Um, and hopefully the rest of the guys will will come out and, and put in some good performances both at bat and ball in the, in the remaining days. Yeah, at, at none for 200, it was, it was a pretty poor start. Um, maybe the occasion got, got to a few of us. I, I know me personally, I... I, sort of, I thought I tensed up a, a little bit in that morning session. Maybe the whole occasion of uh, Lords got, got too big for a few of us. But I, I thought late in the day we, we got, got into the rhythm, started to build a, a bit more pressure and, and started to relax a bit more into our work. So it was pleasing to get those six wickets at the end. Yeah, I, I think a, a few of our bowls struggled a, a little bit in the early session. I, I thought Ben Hilfenhaus was, was good all day. He swung, swung the ball consistently from, from the first over to, to the end. And I, I think with Mitch, uh, late in the day, we, we seen him bringing the ball back into the right-hander, which, which is a very good sign. Um, so a, a bit of luck, he, he got everything back in order and, and where he wants it to be. And we'll, hopefully, with luck tomorrow, we can um, get that swinging back in. Yeah, I found it hasn't really swung much with, with the new ball. To, to you get five or five, between five and ten overs in your spell, then, then it starts swinging. Um, I, I don't know if it, I don't think the ball's got anything to do with it. I, I think maybe today the the occasion we all tensed up a a, a little bit playing at Lords, um, but I, I thought we we fought back well and the, the bowlers started to relax a bit late in the day and uh, things started to go our way. We were able to build a bit more pressure. So then it's a massive session in the morning, a little bit like the second morning in Cardiff. Uh, back then, of course, England pushed on to 450 and thought that was a good score. Uh, a similar score tomorrow, in fairness, should uh, fare them better, because as we've mentioned, there's a lot more in this surface. So join us tomorrow for the report. England then in a decent position, 364 for six at the close.